Science, Chris. Is the Revo Point pop scanner gonna work on large parts? Let's check it out. I've got this large piece of glass that I spray painted. It's very flat and I used it for doing my marker test. And now I've got these 3D printed pyramids that I put on it so I can use it for testing the feature system, feature based alignment. I designed this flat pyramid as a feature that was well constrained. It has four planes. It's 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters by 2.7 millimeters high. And I'm going to 3D print these and put these in the field of view to act as features. I've got the 3D scanner mounted on a boom mic stand and I've got it set so that it just gets into the excellent range. In this test I'm checking out the feature based scanning. I had to scan much slower with the feature based meshing and it got 420 frames. Here you can see the four sided pyramids that I put in the field of view on the glass to act as features. I've loaded the mesh in and it's about 108 millimeters in this direction and 1.5 meters in that direction. I'm going to select the points that were in the original scan view that are flat and I'm going to fit a plane to it and use that as a reference. Now I'm going to bet best fit a plane here. Now that we have the plane and the scan, I'm going to compare the two. Over here you can see the pyramids are sitting above the glass plate, but as the scans went along, they got further and further off the glass plate and so at the end they were 57 millimeters off here. What were the conclusions? Well it shows that the marker based alignment is more accurate than the feature based alignment. The marker based alignment seemed to allow faster scanning than the feature based alignment. For large objects the pop scanner is not going to be all that accurate. We now have an accuracy baseline for the pop sensor and I look forward to the new pop 2 kickstarter becoming available so we can test that. Well, I hope this information was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.